Yeah, we back. Let's roll. So my truck, I had to take it back to the dealership uh, because of the inspection, um, and that was just like just very, you know small things that the uh, inspector allowed the truck to proceed with the sale it was just pretty much issues with the headlights uh on these tundras uh the headlights they pretty much sit down in a um it's like some sort of retainer um so, so you have to basically unclip the headlights uh you have to unscrew then you have to unclip them from the retainer uh the problem with that is that if you don't do it a proper way you're going to pretty much break the bracket of the headlight itself um, and that's pretty much what had happened. Uh, so basically you got these screws here and underneath here, there's a plastic, um, you know, uh, retainer thick mount underneath here. And what you have to do is kind of get something to pop this off. After you get these screws off, you got to get something to pop it off. If you just force it, you're going to end up bending uh this whole headlight bracket so you're gonna bend it uh and that's what happened um small flaws um that the inspection uh people were pretty much concerned about so the dealership had to order some parts for it um however they didn't stop the sale you know it, it wasn't anything to stop anything you know from proceeding it was just like okay you know you guys got this in works you guys got this in order uh it's gonna be delayed for shipment because of coronavirus but we got it you guys can still do the sale um yeah that's it uh that's the true reason why my truck was in the shop at the dealership um after had got it's because the headlights needed to be replaced uh just because the previous owner um, broke the brackets but yep that's it for this 5.7